Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're diving deep into the Statix OS, a pure Android 15 ROM based on AOSP. This is an initial build, but it's packed with features and offers a stock Android experience. Let's see how it stacks up. Statix OS is a pure AOSP ROM, meaning it's free of any manufacturer customizations. This gives you a clean, uncluttered interface and ensures you get the latest Android updates as soon as they're available. Gaps and firmware are included, so you can use your favorite Google apps right out of the box. The settings menu is straightforward and easy to navigate. You have full control over your device's settings, from customizing the appearance to managing notifications and permissions. For example, you can easily enable or disable dark mode, adjust screen brightness, and set your preferred ringtone. I've been using Statix OS as my daily driver for the past week, and I've been impressed with its performance. The ROM feels smooth and responsive, even with a 4GB RAM variant. I've tested it with demanding apps and games, and it handled them well. Compared to other Android 15 ROMs I've tried, Statix OS performs exceptionally well. It's stable, reliable, and doesn't suffer from frequent crashes or lag. I've noticed that apps launch quickly, multitasking is smooth, and there's minimal lag when scrolling through the UI. The only major issue I've encountered is with network connectivity. Sometimes, the ROM will show a signal in the status bar, but calls and mobile internet won't work. This is a significant drawback, as it can be frustrating for daily use. However, I've noticed that the issue seems to be intermittent. Sometimes, it resolves itself after a few minutes or restarting the device. Hopefully, this will be addressed in future updates. Since this is an initial build and based on AOSP, there aren't many customization options. You'll only find fingerprint unlock in the lock screen, no face unlock as of now. While this might be a deal breaker for some, others may appreciate the clean and minimalist look. Hopefully, we'll see more customization options added in the future, such as the ability to change the launcher, themes, and icons. One of the highlights of Statix OS is its excellent battery life. I was able to get 7 hours of screen on time easily, even with heavy usage. This is thanks to the efficient Android 15 optimizations and the lack of unnecessary bloatware. Statix OS includes the new circle to search features by default. This allows you to quickly search for apps, contacts, settings, and more by drawing a circle on the screen. It's a convenient and time-saving feature. Overall, Statix OS is a promising ROM that offers a pure Android 15 experience. While there are some network issues to be ironed out, it's a stable and usable ROM for daily use. If you're looking for a clean and stock Android experience with excellent battery life and the new circle to search feature, Statix OS is definitely worth considering. That's it for our review of Statix OS. As you can see, it's a promising ROM that offers a clean, stock Android 15 experience. While there are some network issues to work out, it's definitely worth considering if you're looking for a pure Android experience with excellent battery life and the new circle to search feature. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more tech reviews and tutorials, and thanks for watching.